Hello friends and Elm Street family. Today is Wednesday, June the 3rd, and it's Miss Jo coming at you from Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. Uh, today we're going to talk about positive feelings and positive thoughts. Do you remember how we talked in the past about the thought triangle that um, your feelings are um, are impacted or if they're, they're encouraged or discouraged by um, your thoughts? And then your feelings and your thoughts, they actually um, have an effect on your behavior. So we're going to do a little sheet that is positive thoughts. It says draw a line from each feeling to a positive thought that can help you feel better. So this is a resource from Centervention and I'll post the link in the video description. So let's take a look and read at the feelings and the thoughts. So actually I'm going to start with a thought. So let's say you, uh, these are the thoughts. I'm going to get better at this. I'm a great student. I can get through anything. I get better every single day. I have courage and confidence. I believe in myself. I am proud of myself. I am a great friend. So the way that you want to talk to yourself is the way that you would speak to your best friend because uh, you have to be as kind and as caring towards yourself as you would be toward a best friend. So let's see, what feeling do you think would go with one of those thoughts? So when I feel nervous, when I feel frustrated, when I'm disappointed, when someone is mean, when I'm left out, when I feel discouraged. So maybe when I feel nervous, let's look at that one. So what do we think? I'm going to get better at this. Maybe if you were nervous about your schoolwork, I'm a great student. I can get through anything. I get better every single day. I have courage and confidence. I believe in myself. I am proud of myself. I'm a great friend. I think maybe it might be I can get through anything. If so, if you feel nervous, you can say I can get through anything. So whatever it is that you're feeling nervous about, um, you are able to do it and you can tell yourself that you're able to do it and then you'll be more likely to actually be able to do whatever it is that you're feeling nervous about. What about when I feel frustrated? So frustrated is that feeling when you've been trying and trying and it's not working and so you're uh, <clears throat> you're having to redo something or you're not really understanding, you're having to try again and again. So what could you say to yourself? I'm going to get better at this, maybe. I'm a great student. I get better every single day. I have courage and confidence. I believe in myself. I'm proud of myself. I'm a great friend. Well, when you feel frustrated, you can tell yourself that you have courage and confidence. I have courage and confidence. So whatever it is that you're frustrated about, if you have courage and confidence, then you'll probably be able to handle it and figure it out. So you tell yourself that. So what about when I am disappointed? You could say, would you say, I'm going to get better at this? I'm a great student. I can get through anything. I get better every single day. I believe in myself. I'm proud of myself. I am a great friend. So when you're disappointed, hmm, depends on what you're disappointed in. Maybe if you're disappointed, you could tell yourself, I am proud of myself. So instead of being disappointed, be proud of yourself that you tried, even though it was something that was hard for you. That's something to be proud about. Because if we never try things, then we'll never learn things. All right, when someone is mean, do we say, I'm going to get better at this? I'm a great student. I get better every single day. I believe in myself, or I am a great friend. So remind yourself, I am a great friend. When someone is mean, remember how we want to treat people the way that we want to be treated, not the way that they've treated us? And because we teach people how to treat us by how we treat them. So if you remind yourself that you're a great friend and someone is being mean to you, instead of being mean back, do what you need to do to be a great friend. Maybe say, hmm, I didn't really appreciate that. What is it that you're feeling that made you say that? Because usually if somebody's mean, it's, it's not really about you. It has to do with something about them, something that's going on with them. All right. When I'm left out, when, I'm fe when you're feeling left out, I'm going to get better at this. 
I'm a great student. I can get through anything. I get better every single day. I believe in myself. Hmm. Maybe if you're feeling left out, you can say, maybe we have more than one that goes with each one. Because I feel like if you're saying, oh, you're feeling left out, then um, you might want to say, I am a great friend. To remind yourself that even though you're feeling left out of this situation, that you're a great friend. Or maybe you're feeling left out because um, maybe, maybe people are doing something and you're not good at it yet. And then it could be when I'm feeling left out, I'm going to get better at this. And what about when I feel discouraged? When I feel discouraged, do you know what discouraged means? It means when you're trying really hard at something and then you feel like, oh, I'm never going to get it. And you feel like the good things are never going to come. So you can remind yourself a few different things you could say. You can say, I believe in myself. I can do this. I just need to keep working at it and keep trying and have that growth mindset. And then you'll get better at it. You could also say, um, I could get through anything or I'm going to get better at this. So we all get better at things when we practice. When we don't practice and we don't try, then it's hard to get better at something. But once we practice and we try, then we typically do get better at it. All right, my friends, thank you for um, joining me today and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.